surface of my heart The feelings ever gone A great adventure will I be Memories everywhere that I've come from Fears behind. We are locked in an orbit racing round with the dots of moonly worlds that make a light. Keep your eyes on me.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after our scrimmage between the casters and the MLD players. My name is Aggie, and as always, I am joined by Inanimate Jay in the booth. How are you doing tonight, sir? My voice is a little tired, and I made a complete fool out of myself at the end of that scrim, but I'm feeling pretty good. All right, so we do have the Sharks versus Wolves coming up here in just a moment. I uh, do not have jump up in front of me, so Jay, break it down for us. Wolves, uh, number four rank right now. They've dropped a few games here and there, down to 16 and 19 on the season, but they still score the most goals per game. They do give up a lot uh, defensively as well. They they get a lot of shots on goal. They miss a high percentage of those, nearly a quarter of their shots missing the net. So if they could get their accuracy down and put more shots on frame, they could be a runaway team uh, in terms of the, the league standings here. The Sharks been struggling a little bit this season as they, they've they gone down to a couple of 5 defeats and not quite able to to settle in here. And I would like to point out an interesting point. Clay and Uriach are actually both playing on the same PlayStation console split screen tonight as they are cousins and are in the same room. So the communication will be on point, but will the TV be on point? <laughs> will the controller fly at the TV? Find out next time on MLD. <laughs> Uh, but we do need to get underway here as soon as possible. We might just be a little bit late to get this game going so Jay can go watch a UFC fight. I gotta get as... dinner first, but yeah, I've sent the message to the teams. They should be joining up here. We will be good to go. And we are slotted in here. Sharks versus Wolves in week six here on MLD. Last match of today's Saturday, and we're underway. Gonna be one down into the Sharks' end. You reach hard shot on net really early here. Ginger barely able to make it back in time as Cookie Clay countering that out to the front of the net. Big bump there, and it's shot wide by You Reach. Red Butters with it now. Water dribble to the midway line. You reach good counter to the wall. Red Water will dribble all the way in. Clay was out of position. They're up by one. Well, Eris in the chat pointing out that Red Water is the guy that they need to take out as his ground game is killer. Right there, great touch off the Dominus to just control it inside of Clay, who's out of position on that one. You reach struggling to get back as he was already up for that first one. First blood to the Wolves. And really the Sharks are able to come back here. They do need this series win to keep the playoff hopes alive as Clay almost up for a great touch there, but Redwater will get it clear. Pops that one up the wall. Sticking with it is both you reach and Clay in the same area. Shot on net. Gonna Straight in the UT to send it away to the corner. Out in the box, still it here. Sharks clumped up just a little bit as Clay is with it in the corner. Off the backboard, follows it up again. What a shot by Clay, and they tie the game at one. Well, the Wolves' defensive play is has been suspect, and as you can see here, Redwater was driving backwards all the way into the net. Hunter not quite coming across in time as Clay gets inside near post and is able to roll that one in. Bad just getting caught up a little bit on chat as top will be one into the shark zone and gender flying back for boost gonna get stolen by clay now has it in the corner he's on the sidewalk minutes into this game and no offense from either side very productive unless you get those long shots but a lot of runaway goals here early on for the wolves oh almost another shot there for gender as well complaint from uh akai in the chat that the colors are too alike i looked at this when i created them and they, it, they weren't too bad uh, unfortunately, Psyonix doesn't give us a deep forest green that we would like for the Wolves. So I, they do come across a little bit weird on, on the screen, but I apologize for that. Not and a lot we can Redwater do. Was, Redwater did a great job here as well as getting the ball deep into the corner and play, trying to keep the Wolves at bay. Ginger up for a touch on the backward. Will get it. You reach pops out into the box. No Redwaters. He got bumped by Ginger, and Ginger has to keep it in. Three minutes left to go here, and a lot of back and forth stuck in the Sharks' end. Yeah, the Sharks struggling a little bit to get the ball out now. Is ooh, and Redwater. Speaking of Redwater, a huge dunk on the wall, able to put him up by one. Clay goes up for a weak aerial touch, and with the front flip has no recovery. In your defensive end, when the other team is giving you time and space to play the ball like that, just bring it down and control it, rather than jumping up with no forward momentum and trying to flip forward. You can't get a very powerful hit on the ball doing that. It's something that a lot of players at this level struggle with in, in thinking that a front flip can get a ton of power on the ball. It doesn't. It's driving into the ball that creates powerful hits. 
and the Sharks are trying to get off and scoring a lot of flurries off the face off them. No capitalization. There's a shot from Ginger finds its way off the post. And Clay has a runaway the other way. No boost to be able to beat Redwater. He will beat him though with the second touch as Redwater was not able to get there and it bounces off the post. Here back the other way. Stealing the boost as he goes by. Shot on net. Gonna go really wide here across the box. More like that to Redwater. Who's just now out of the corner. A shot from Ginger. Great pass from Redwater. They're up by two. Hunter puts this one long across the face of goal. It baits both you reach and Clay into trying to play that ball. All Hunter has to do is wait for that ball to come back out in front because neither of the Sharks players are in the correct place to play that one. And the Sharks, again, no offense really for their team here as the Wolves will win the face off pretty heavy handed. Ginger trying to get one in the net and he doesn't. Into the corner now, he centers it out for Redwater who's a little bit late. Ginger, another touch, drops it into the net, but it's going to be off the post and he'll have to recover. Great goal here from Ginger. As Ginger is up for this touch. He's just going to drop it ever so slightly over top of both Redwater and Uriach. Unfortunately, Uriach not able to recover in time. Hunter lands on the four wheels and puts that one home. 4-1 Wolves. Not much you could do there in the corner. as two minutes left to go, and the Sharks just getting hemmed in their own end. Yeah, the Wolves are all over the Sharks right now, and part of that is, I, I believe, them just not getting very productive touches away from their own goal. It's a lot of weak stuff. Uh, you reach to pick this one up, try and bring it downfield. I think it's stuffed, though. The sharks need to find something long. They have time to get back in this one, only down three, but with the ball in their side of the field so much, it's going to be tough. Yeah, the Sharks, a lot of weak touches, as you said, not able to get it away from that box area. Dendra shot from the midway line. What a play and a turtle goal for Dendra here. Turtle goal hat trick here is Redwater and I believe that was Uriach come together there to pinch that one out front. Clay's looking for boost. Tries to get across. There's no time to get there as Hunter just lobs that one in. And the Wolves offense is on fire right now. Up by four with a minute and a half left to go. There's not a lot of chances for comeback here, but the Sharks are trying to get an offense off the face off. Play centers that one, but Edwater and Ginger come together to get a good clear in the corner. Play off the wall, weak touch, leaves it for you. Reach who does not aerial strong enough for it. A shot from Ginger hovering on that goal line and a save by Clay. You reach dunked there by Redwater, stays in the Sharks' end. Clay clear to the midway line, stopped immediately by Ginger. You reach has to counter. Covering well here, good control by you reach to get it over the top of Redwater. He backflips into it, and Clay caught out of position now. Chance for Redwater to run it back. Clay gonna dunk him. Ginger back to play defense here. He keeps it in the Sharks' end. 50 seconds left to go here, and the Sharks' chances in game one are looking bleak. Yeah, they're running out of time here, down four goals, and needing to score one every 10 seconds. The runaway goal here might start well, the comeback. Well, there's the first one for you, Reach. Oh, oh he's out of boost, Redwater. and he can't finish. Yeah, back in time there is something that they couldn't fight that play trying to keep the offense going but shark not even making it to the front of the wolves net you reach a center here we'll make it to the box but immediately clear immediately cleared by redwater and into the corner off the backboard and the sharks and a chance here for ginger dunk by clay and a big save out to the side wall you reach i believe that was for play we touch the midway line counter by redwater eight seconds left we're going to give game one to the wolves here yeah, the Wolves have done well here. They've made the most of their chances. A lot of shots on goal, and I think we'll see the stats in a very quick second here. The Wolves actually had, at the very minimum, seven shots that were saved, because I know both players for the Sharks had Savior medals. I believe, Clay, I was right, seven saves. is 17 shots on goal for the Wolves here. It was an absolute flurry from the pack, as the Sharks just not 